And you've uh, you had some great battles on the field, great battles off the field. Uh, and it's something your teammates always talk about, that if you needed a, a real mongrel in the battle, someone who needed to stand up to the opposition, uh, it wasn't just the bowling, but it was the, the job of almost the, the team enforcer at times to, to give the guys a bit of backbone and uh, maybe have a quiet conversation with the opposition. I phoned Bucky's Berto a few times and he gave me a few good tips. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Look, I think enforcers have been, been a bit too kind. I think there, was, there, were, there were times when we, we, we identified certain guys, um, the Aussies, uh, that we could really get under their skins. And, 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 you know, there were certain guys, especially young guys, guys that were in the side for the first time. If you, if you had a, a bit of a mouth on you and you could use it against the right players, then sometimes it works. There were times when it didn't work so much and, and, and we'd get punished for it. But there were times when it, when, when it did. And um, I suppose as a spin bowler, you, don't, you can't bounce guys out. You can't, uh, you know, you can't scare guys. So you have to have something else, to, uh, you know, to your bow. I feel. And um, you know, Barchi always used to say to us, as long as you're in the game and asking questions. And that's all I tried to do was try and be in the game and ask questions. Sometimes the questions weren't all that polite, but that's professional sport, I think. Now we will 